Toadie, we will break down all the latest financial news and stock movements, focusing on SoFi Technologies today. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get into the details of what influenced the stock recently and what you should be keeping an eye on moving forward. Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. SoFi ended the trading day down by 1.3%, closing in the red at $7.86. Initially, the stock showed promise moving upwards to reach around 807 cents during the early trading hours. This surge was primarily driven by positive macroeconomic data, specifically the Chicago PMI, which came in at 46.6 versus the anticipated 46.1. This might seem like a small difference, but in the world of finance, these small beats can significantly influence market sentiment. This data is considered a precursor to the much-anticipated ISI manufacturing data, which has a forecast of 47.2. Investors are closely monitoring these figures as they indicate broader market trends and economic health. Later in the day, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell made some comments that shifted the mood in the broader market. One statement in particular stood out. Powell emphasized that employment data is currently more critical than GDP numbers. This sentiment can be somewhat alarming, as it places immense focus on the labor market's performance. Now let's talk about what's coming up. The most critical data point to keep an eye on will be the unemployment rate announcement on Friday. The current forecast for the unemployment rate stands at 4.2%. Given Powell's comments, this figure is likely to be under the microscope, and any deviation from expectations could have a ripple effect across the market. With no significant updates or filings from SoFi itself, the stock has been largely following the broader market trends. Being the final day of Q3, we witnessed a considerable amount of rebalancing in the markets. The after-hours trading session was notably active, with numerous transactions exceeding the $100,000 mark. Unfortunately, much of this rebalancing involves selling, particularly in the case of SoFi. This selling pressure can be attributed to the fact that SoFi outperformed broader indexes during Q3, making it a prime candidate for profit-taking and rebalancing activities. Despite the selling, it's worth noting that short sellers returned 1.3 million shares during the day. This brought the total percentage of shorted free float to 17.43%, translating to around 182.36 million shares shorted. The average cost to borrow these shares remains relatively low at 0.78%, with utilization at 45.35%. This suggests that while some short sellers are stepping back, there's still significant bearish sentiment in the market. Looking ahead, one factor that might be influencing short sellers' decisions is the upcoming earnings announcement from SoFi. Historically, SoFi stock tends to perform well between the earnings date announcement and the actual earnings release, with an average gain of around 13% during this period. This could be why shorts are closing their positions preemptively, anticipating a potential rally in the stock. As we move closer to the earnings announcement, Keep an eye on how the market reacts to any updates or hints about SoFi's financial performance. If history is any indicator, we might see some upward momentum as anticipation builds for the earnings report. Another key point to consider is the upcoming Federal Reserve meeting on November 7th. The probability of a 50 basis point rate cut has decreased significantly from 53.3% last Friday to just 37.1% now. This decline could introduce additional volatility to the market as investors adjust their expectations. Looking at options activity, today's volume was somewhat typical. Approximately $4.33 million worth of call options were traded, compared to 2.69 million puts. However, 53% of all options traded were bearish, indicating that sentiment remains cautious. The most popular call option strike prices are $8.50 and $9.00 while the most traded put options are targeting the 750 level, suggesting that traders are hedging for potential downside risk. On the technical side, SoFi is still performing relatively well, holding above several key moving averages. It's currently trading in a range between 768 and 789. These are crucial support and resistance levels to watch for. 
If SoFi can break above 789, the next resistance points would be 810, 823, and 844. Conversely, if it breaks below 768, it could see further downside pressure. This trading range will be essential to monitor as the week progresses, particularly with the upcoming economic data releases. Several key economic reports are due this week that could significantly impact market movements, including ADP non-farm employment on Wednesday with a forecast of 128,000. Friday will bring the more critical non-farm payrolls data with expectations set at 150,000. Both of these figures are crucial as they provide insights into the health of the labor market, which, as Powell highlighted, is currently the Fed's primary focus. Short sellers will likely be poised to react to these numbers, so expect some volatility as the week unfolds. So overall, it was an okay day for SoFi despite the minor loss. The key takeaway is that the stock's movement was primarily influenced by external factors rather than company-specific news. As we move through the week, keep a close eye on the economic data releases, particularly unemployment numbers and the Fed's interest rate outlook. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.